Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money. Uh, we're going to be reacting, we're doing a Twitter reacts to this comment up here, uh, which states, would you buy your employee stock if you were able to purchase at a 15% discount? Um, this is something I used to think like, oh yeah, if I had, if I could buy my company stock, I would. But we had a conversation a while ago and you had made a very good point where if you're working at that company, and then if you also have the opportunity to invest in that company and you do invest in that company, so now they're paying you, you're putting the money back in the company and then say the company goes under and they fire you or something and you get laid off. You've lost everything. So you've lost your job, you lost your investment, you've lost it all. So you want to minimize your risk at being too invested in something like that that is not your own, um, which is yeah. a very good point. Yeah, no, I mean, more dependent. I mean, yeah, I mean, the question is, is and, and, and again, it depends on who the company is. Let's not get that twisted. If it's Amazon stock, I mean, come on now. If it's Coca-Cola, I mean, some people would do it. I mean, I, I know a lot of people that do it. Just, you know. So that's what it depends on. But if it's just like some willy-nilly company that went uh, public and you... Well, and I said this that statement to many people, and then they went and bought it, and then they tell me look, this is the crazy part, is they buy the stock, and then they tell me about different things that the company is doing that's wrong, that's a money loser. But you're buying that company stock. And then, of course, when you work at a company, you know all the dirt. So why, why would you want to put your money there? I mean, me, I'm always going to believe in at least have 50% of your money in the, just in the market in general, S&P 500 or an all stock market, U.S. fund or something like that, VOO or something similar to that. You don't have to go get exotic, but at least 50% of your money could be there. I mean, if you put the other 50% into your company stock, I uh, hope you're in a quality company and things like that. But Alex, what you said is 100% correct. That's exactly how I feel about investing in company stock. Yeah, one of the famous company stocks here in Florida, especially, and I know they're in other states, but is Publix. And I know we've both said, you know, we would like to invest in public stock, but you can only get into that stock if you're an employee there, if you're if you're in on the inside or you have a relative working there. But um, that's one company stock that, uh, yeah, just like you said, it depends where you're working, especially Amazon. Mm -hmm. so, huge company. Yeah, and I've, I've had uh, relatives, they worked at companies. And then they always come to me and say, oh, they're publicly traded. Okay, what the, that, that's what yeah. I mean. I'm like, yeah. Spongebob is publicly traded too. And I lost a, a middle on that one. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and then, and the thing is, they enamored, they're enamored with, it's just a stock. Right. And they don't understand what goes into analyzing a stock and things like that. And I, like I always said, I mean, I, I beat the whole, I beat the dead horse, keep saying that it is. You work for the company, so all your money is dependent on one source, and that's that company. And I don't, I don't agree with it. Yeah. So all that being said, guys, if you work at a company, you invest in that stock. Let us know down below what company you're in. We'll tell you if you're making a bad decision. Uh, we'll hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.